How's it going, Teal Boys? It is release day once again for the College Football Revamped mod. Version 11 is here, and with it comes some pretty awesome changes and potentially an update to one of the most anticipated teams we've seen yet. Definitely the most anticipated for myself. As we can see here, some new teams updated, the rest of the Sun Belt, and finally, finally, some Pac-12 teams, including my favorite team in college football, the Oregon Ducks. But we've got Arizona, Louisiana Lafayette, Louisiana Monroe, Oregon, Oregon State, South Alabama, Tulane, UCLA, USC, and Washington State. I gotta tell you, the Oregon stuff, I've already looked at it, is very, very well done. So, you know, as always kind of what we have come to expect at this point so i'm gonna assume that the rest of the new stuff is also pretty impressive so let's just right away start going through some of the new uniforms um i think this time around what we'll do is well first off let's go i think that we're gonna do the Sun Belt teams first so let's do the uh university of louisiana teams uh monroe and Lafayette I think that this time around we're going to show a few uniforms in game uh but for time's sake uh we'll only show just a couple ULM starting right off the bat with some good looking away uniforms I like the stripes looks a little like old school but I dig the vibe for sure they've got the P40 like World War II fighter jet look with the like shark teeth on the shoulders uh awesome looking pants kind of the throwback uh logo on the pants and then they've got the alt one where they've got the maroon jersey which is honestly i think such a solid jersey uh alt two they go with the yellow pants or sorry the gold pants with white everything else their homes look beautiful with that white helmet uh, the maroon and gold, the aways, just all white is a clean look as well. And then, you know, we could throw on something else if we wanted to. Um, you know, always can mess around with it, make our own weird custom ones. But let's just load in with, uh, let's, well, well, we'll load in with the P40s for uh, ULM. And for the Raging Cajuns, they're away. Looks pretty solid the alt 2 looks solid is it only going to show me the aways right now okay we gotta we gotta change this up it's not gonna let me select any of the presets other than the two away presets so we'll go through everything the custom way uh helmets we got the vermilion red one we've got the black one as well a couple of solid options i think i like the black one a little bit more although i do like the stripe down the middle or the double stripe down the middle of the vermilion jersey they've got the vermilion or the red they've got the white and they've got the black as well pretty solid look uh i mean you can't go wrong with it it's just good simple clean all around black pants the the red pants as well and the white so you know your classic uh color options there they've got three of them so you could just mix and match how you want and something that is new to this updates is that every team now has just a standard black and white glove as the player model looks a little bit funny when you load that in uh <laughs> they, they get very stiff for a second but uh just that option i think is available on every team now so uh you know it wasn't before just another simple little change little attention to detail that they can put in pretty easily and just uh elevate the mod that much more so let's load in here and take a look at these couple of uniform combos in game so here we are loaded on to cajun field oh wow they do look good in game believe it or not we'll run the kickoff and then we can just go ahead and go into the instant replay, check these out under the lights, and see how they look in game. I think it's going to be pretty solid. All right, let's let's see if the returning chops are just because of Marquis Jackson, or if we're just that good. <laughs> All right, into the instant replay, and let's just you know 
See, see these under the lights? They look even better with that lighting bouncing off of it. I really like these uh, aways for ULM. Pretty just clean look. The stripes on the shoulders are very solid. Nice yellow outline on the uh, the red in the numbers. And for the Raging Cajuns, again, just a simple, clean look. You know, not trying to go too fancy. Making sure they look pretty solid. This guy looking towards the sky. I like it. All right. We'll look at these last two Sunbelt teams in South Alabama and Tulane. And what am I talking about? Tulane, they're an American team, right? So not all Sunbelt, uh, <laughs> but the G5 getting worked on more and more as these releases come. All right. What does South Alabama have on offer? They've got the all white aways. Pretty classic uh, USA kind of look. The all reds for the alt one, the alt two. You just got the white and red home. Pretty simple red and white. Um, you know, just the white helmet, just the red and the white jerseys, just the red and the white pants. Not a whole lot of options for the Jaguars, uh, but they have a look nonetheless. And again, if you want to, you can just wear the white or the black gloves, which is pretty fantastic. All right. How about Tulane? Yeah, uh, every time that they load in with these gloves, the model, the player model looks so funny to me. Uh, all right, so can we start with the home? Will it show us? No, it's going to be weird. So uh, the away and the alt two right off the bat, kind of interesting. The, the blue pants, a pretty light, almost sky blue there. The angry wave helmet is so cool. We'll definitely load in and uh, see that one in game but they also have the surf and bird so maybe we'll load into both of the because these are such unique helmets that Tulane has also the green as well so a lot of uh, options just in the helmet they get the blue jersey the white the green and the black uh, the blue the green the black and the white pants as well so ups to Tulane for some cool options we're gonna make them look kind of funky as we come in and uh we'll take a look at both of these helmets for sure as we will load into this one and see how they look under the lights as well so again we'll just run the kickoff check the instant replay and see how they look just from the zoomed out perspective Tulane looking real clean as stefan hutterson it's a decent return and let's have a look here at the kicker for South Alabama. Again, nothing wrong with it. Pretty clean look. Uh, you know, a little boring for my taste as an Oregon fan. But if you like red and if you like white, then South Alabama has some great jerseys for you. How about this uh, Tulane look, though? Uh, very, very cool. <laughs> the blue and whatnot. And how about that helmet? You know, that is a mean looking wave and uh, a very cool, unique helmet for sure. And how about a look here at that surfing bird helmet as we see the all blues now for Tulane. Can I get this nice and zoomed in without it getting uh, a little bit out of focus? There we go. Oh, that's an awesome helmet. Just so, again, unique. I think is the right word for it. Very cool. Very, very cool. Let's just get Oregon out of the way immediately. And, you know, I would be foolish not to load them up against Oregon State. Can I get it just to load without me having to search? There we go. I, I want to be lazy. All right. Let's take a look at the Beavers and what they have first. Uh, the wood grain jerseys with the black helmet is their standard away. They've got the throwback with the awesome Benny Beaver helmets. Such a great logo. So much better than their current logo. Uh, but, you know, Oregon State, eh, kind of weird. So, of course, they're not going to have a, a good current logo. <laughs> Definitely no bias there. Uh, the 11 strong here with kind of the, um, I don't even know, maybe charcoal colored uh, top. The helmet with the grayed out Benny new logo. I don't even know if you could call it the Benny one. And then the 2019 homecoming uniforms that are, you know, all black, the cool shoulder stripes, and then the, the orange Benny Beaver. They've got the away alternate, the home alternate, the all orange. I think this is a pretty dang solid look for Oregon State. 
Uh, and then they've got the home. So we're going to go home alternate to load into here, but with the throwback helmet because it is so much better uh, of a logo than what they're currently using. And now prepare yourselves because there's a lot to go through here for the Ducks. Uh, the standard away is what we look at first uh, as it's kind of hard to see. It's a limitation of the mod itself, but there are wings on almost all these helmets. The, the plain looking helmets have a set of wings on there. You'll probably be able to see them when we load into the game, uh, but we'll go through what we can. These are just going to be the away alternates that we can show. Um, also fantastic. And again, uh, when we load into the game, I probably will load in with some of this nightmare green stuff because it looks black in this, but in a lot of pictures in real life, the, the jerseys look black as well. But they have just enough of a green tint. They're some of my favorite current ones for Oregon. As you can see, alt number 9. I think it goes up to like 11, including the homes. Uh, but let's just go through some custom stuff. So the yellow helmet, the green helmet, and you can see that the wings on this are chrome. So just imagine that those wings are there. They're green on the green helmet. They're nightmare green on the nightmare green helmet. So hard to see in, in some aspects, but you can see so many options. The throwback helmet, 2015 helmet with just the standard Oregon logo on it. The once a duck ones. And these are probably my favorite uniforms the ducks have worn in a long time. Uh, when you put it all together, it's beautiful. It looks like a duck. The Lewis and Clark ones... <laughs> Don't know why they added these in kind of rude not the not oregon's best uniform combo uh jersey wise they got the white they've got the yellow they've got the nightmare green the white and nightmare green with the, the logos and numbers are that the wolf gray the throwback ones uh and then the duck ones the 2015 rose bowl ones with the puddles on the shoulders as well as the 2015 national championship ones Hard time to, uh, to try to think about the Lewis and Clark jerseys, the 2015 blacks, 2015 white and green, 2015 green, 2015 galaxy white. There's just so many freaking options. It's kind of unbelievable. All right. How about the pants? We got green, white, yellow, nightmare green, wolf gray, the throwback, the once a duck, 2015 Rose Bowl and national championship and the Lewis and Clark. The 2015 throwbacks. Uh, there's just there's so many options. We could just scroll through and get some crazy random stuff. As apparently we have camo socks as an option and orange socks as well. Now the orange socks make sense because uh, well it's not really letting me uh, choose some custom stuff. Let me back out real quick for a second, and this way we can show the alternates properly. Um. So many cool looks involved. Uh, 2020 Rose Bowl, 2015 Rose Bowl. I love these ones. The throwback one, the pick, in reference to Kenny Wheaton, of course. Such a great throwback for the Ducks. A little bit weird, I would say, in, in some aspects, but just uh, very solid nonetheless. And then here we go. My favorite one's the once a duck. If you look at it, it looks like a duck. Uh, <laughs> they've got the orange face mask as the bill, the orange socks as the, the webbed feet. Uh, just so fantastic. And we'll load in because I'm curious on this helmet to see how they got it. Because in real life, there's kind of a, an interesting, like, speckle on the helmet that makes it look like an egg. The game previously known as the Civil War. Probably going to be called, like, the Platypus Cup or something these days. Oh, look at this. So, so beautiful. I've been waiting for this for so long, it feels like now. Every release of the mod that's come out, I've wanted the Ducks to be a part of it. And we have finally got it. So, uh, I will show off the beavers here with just these uh, awesome throwback helmets. They look so clean, and I got to admit, I'm a, I'm kind of a sucker for the, the orange and black look that they have going on. Especially... When they play Oregon and they kind of go for the colorway game. But oh, how about this look for the Ducks? And it's hard to tell, but it kind of does look maybe like there's a little bit of texture on the helmet to make it look kind of speckled. Uh, but just the... Oh, I'm going to lose my mind. So beautiful. A little bit weird to see orange on a, on a Ducks uniform. But in this combo, it's so fantastic. I think it, it looks even better actually with the high socks. 
uh, just, you know, makes it look like a duck. Now, this isn't the best photo quality that I can find, but this is a picture of these helmets in real life, and you can see that kind of interesting speckle look kind of makes it look uh, almost like an egg, uh, but just very cool. And just for reference, we will be looking next at the nightmare green uniforms, which kind of look black uh, when you're loading into the game, but in this picture kind of shows a little bit better. You can see that it's uh, more of a green in real life. It just really depends on the lighting, but... I think it's a, a very cool uh, look for these guys, and let's load that in, actually. So here is a look at the Nightmare Green. Again, it's kind of difficult to tell, and there's limitations on the game. You can see the, the helmet does have those wings, but uh, just the way that the game was made and the way the textures work, it's made it harder for the team, they've said, to get everything to load in and look, you know, absolutely perfect. But you can see when we load in here, uh, you know, there is a bit of a green hue on the Nightmare Green. It doesn't help that this is, uh, this is a night game that I've loaded into. Um, but the, uh, I'm telling you, real life, these are some of the, some of my favorite jerseys that the Ducks have produced, but just a quick look there at the, at the all Nightmare Green. Uh, really, really just such a solid job here. Our next two teams that we can look at will be at USC and UCLA two LA teams um you know never really pushing the envelope I guess uh never mind maybe UCLA with the Under Armour they do have the logo change which is beautiful away home uh is there a difference here oh the the all the difference between the away and the alternate one is literally in the shoes it goes from white and blue to all white <laughs> not a whole lot different there uh, the white helmet on the alternate two. The alternate three is just blue and white. Honestly, not a bad look for UCLA. Uh, the gold helmet on the all white away. Gold helmet on the blue. They've got the 2017 throwbacks in here. And of course, the, the home as well. So, you know, not a crazy amount of stuff there for UCLA. But they've got some stuff going on, which is nice to see. How about USC, the Trojans? They just look a little bit more clean. Obviously, uh, they're not going to have a whole lot changed. They are one of those teams that goes pretty traditional with their uniforms, but just having the textures being updated and a little bit more modernized looks fantastic. Just the Cardinal helmet, the Cardinal and the white jerseys available, uh, and just the gold pants as well. But you could change the color of the socks and the shoes. And I guess now also the gloves. <laughs> so, you know, interesting look for both sides as we got to go when we load into this one. We have to go uh, home v home. I'm pretty sure these guys always run colorway against each other. Oh, man. These two teams being updated, playing in the Rose Bowl. It's a beautiful sight. As, oh, wow. Good return for UCLA there. <laughs> Bruins looking good while doing it and we can see just how good they look under the lights oh wow look at those helmets the shine on that is fantastic oh definitely definitely gets uh, a higher grade in my book when we load in that is a very very solid look for UCLA how about the Trojans um yeah honestly pretty solid there's not a whole lot that you can say about these uniforms if you've seen them once uh you've seen them a million times there's not much that they can really change but they just look so solid and so high quality so again big ups to the team the last two teams that have been updated that we'll take a look at the uniforms for in this version 11 will be arizona and washington state uh the wildcats okay this dude uh, texture loaded in a little bit weird but <laughs> we could look at the uniforms and we'll just pretend he's a mannequin uh they've got the standard aways they've got the throwbacks which looks pretty fantastic let's be honest that is a, a very solid look love the blue on that one they've got the all cardinal which is always a fun one that they wear the alternate one with the navy helmet and pants alternate two as an away the navy jersey this time with the red the all gray which honestly i'm not a huge fan of this combination but it's not the worst very solid classic looks for arizona nothing pushing the envelope too much 
And then we go to Washington State, who honestly, I really, really like Washington State's uniforms. I just think, uh, I don't know, something about the gray. Uh, I, I enjoy quite a bit. So their standard home looks fantastic. They've got the uh, anthracite as well. Kind of that all carbony look. Looks very weird with the, the dude with his like mannequin head going on there. Uh, the alt to the all red for Washington State. They've got the gray with the anthracite jersey. There's the white. Just a very classic uh, white and red look for them. The all gray, I really enjoy. They've got the crimson and anthracite. I think I'm saying that word right. I honestly have no idea though. Uh, crimson and gray for that alternate. A lot of alternates for these guys. Up to 12 there is pretty impressive. So let's go ahead and go with, uh, let's see, which one do I like? Let's go, I want the crimson and gray. And then we'll have Arizona load in in... Well, we'll give them a little bit of color. The red helmet, the navy pants, and we'll see. So we head to Pullman what these guys look like. And once again, under the lights, just right off the bat, I like what I see. I'm curious. I'm, I got to imagine that some, these helmets are going to look a little bit better to me. Good tackle on that one from uh, uh, Arizona. All right, let's zoom into this and see what we've got for Washington State. Again, yeah, just classic, clean, uh, you know, again, maybe not the biggest change from when the game was initially released in terms of design, but again, the updated uh, textures just make it look so much better, that much more uh, recent, you know, makes it gives the game that much more life. Uh, Arizona, fantastic look as well. Again, clean. Simple as that. As far as other changes in this update, uh, Florida State's got some new helmet stickers. A few repurposed helmets from another, a couple of other teams have been removed just to uh, probably eliminate some confusion. Rutgers, Georgia State, and Arkansas State have updated equipment brands. The Nebraska Blackshirt helmet reflectiveness has changed, so it will look a little bit better during night games. The home and away from Arkansas State alternate uniform presets are gone. Uh, black and white gloves for all teams are there. We saw kind of the weird textures when guys load in, but I'm sure that'll probably be addressed. If not, it's just kind of a funny little feature. The Arkansas State and Texas A&M red and maroon helmets have been made less reflective. The default team color on Nike gloves has been changed to look more like the real thing. Bull patches on uh, both the placement and the size on jerseys has been updated for the teams that have been revamped already. Kentucky's white helmet face mask color was changed. And the Ohio State field color has been changed as well. Uh, there's been a couple of other things changing the look of the controller on the team select as well as some images. And th this is probably the next biggest thing in this one. They always add in a little bit of extra spice onto these updates, and this time it's on the Road to Glory side. Uh, Road to Glories, you have to start a new one for this to take effect, but they now have correct conference realignment. So just like if you were to go in and start a new dynasty with the mod, everything is going to be set up properly. All the conferences will be in the right order and will have the right members. So that's fantastic. And they also made it. So that if you start a new Road to Glory, it's going to have the updated 2020-2021 season rosters. So now, you know, your Road to Glory can be just that much more realistic, which is awesome. Uh, and again, uh, if you are trying to play against another user online and you both have the revamped mod, you need to make sure that you both are using the same version of the game so that your game doesn't freeze uh, if you're having freezes playing somebody, it's most likely because you either using custom playbooks with and you created plays with the play editor or you aren't on the same version. So a fantastic update. 10 out of 10 around the board for me as these guys just don't miss. So again, thank you to the college football revamped mod team. Can't wait to see the rest of the Pac-12, and there's a lot of G5 teams that uh, are going to start coming up after all the Power 5 is done, and I can't wait to see. There's some 
very cool uh, group of five teams that have some very cool uniform combinations that I can't wait to see. And you never know. The, who knows? They're going to like do something crazy eventually on one of the updates, just like out of nowhere, the same way they did the new plays or, or all that. I, I'm always excited to see what's going to happen next. So I love to see my ducks updated. I love the uniforms that they put in for them. Uh, and it sounds like there could be more on the way. I know that they, the Ducks wore some Ohana ones to celebrate Polynesian culture. So uh, they're very cool uniforms. Uh, and I can't wait to see if those do get added. Uh, but yeah, this has been the version 11 of the college football revamped mod. You can get it at cfbrevamped.com. Or if you just go to their Twitter, there'll be links there as well. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to hit like. If you want to see uh, more mod updates or if you want to see our dynasty running with the college football revamp mod, please feel free to subscribe to get notified when videos are posted. Um, while you're down there, you can head to the description to find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster as well as a link to my Twitter and our community discord. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys, wherever you are. Have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios.